Toledo BizConnect TV proudly presents this episode of Etiquette Essentials with Jill Marie with your host, certified image and etiquette consultant, Jill Marie Zachman. Hello, I'm Jill Marie and welcome to Etiquette Essentials with Jill Marie. Today we're going to talk about making a good first impression and exactly what are the skills required to do so. If I were to ask you how many seconds does it take to make a first impression, what would you say? 12, 10, 7? Getting close. It takes 5 seconds or less to make an impression. Now what are the skills required to make a good first impression? We're going to talk about that next, but before I answer that, let me ask you this. Why do you think it's important to make a good first impression. Have you ever thought about it? Well, for those of you in business or you represent a business, you know that your success is based on your clients and customers. And the success that you have with your clients and customers is based on your relationship that you have developed and maintained with them. And I know that there is not one person listening that wouldn't agree that relationship started with, you guessed it, a first impression. You see, your first impression is very much like building the foundation to that relationship. You need to make a good first impression to build that relationship upon. Now, back to the question. What skills are required to make a good first impression? First of all, your Facial expression. The moment you walk into a room, people first notice your face. Your facial expression is a mirror to your emotions and your thoughts. Your facial expression is a social device for influencing others. Make sure that you smile. Look happy. I know we don't always feel happy, but we want to make sure if we want to make a good first impression, we need to have a pleasant facial expression instead of looking like we ate a, um, a bag of sour balls. The next area is eye contact. Eye contact is essential. It establishes a connection with you and the listener or you and uh, the one that is speaking. It engages the listener, it communicates involvement and interest, and it invites conversation. And when you put your eye contact and your facial expression together, it manifests warmth and empathy and all of those things needed to build a good relationship upon. Another important thing is your body language. Your body language is a forecast to outside observers about many things. If you're self-confident, if you are socially aware, um, it, it is, uh, if, you are if you are responsible, and all of these little details come across in your body language. Are you aggressive? Are you too aggressive? You want to make sure that your body language expresses and communicates a confidence. Keep your chin up and your shoulders back. Be ready to shake someone's hand rather than having your hands stuck in your pocket. Always sit up straight rather than slouching and elbows on the table. Show it, it shows attentiveness and interest. And then the fourth area is the things that you say. The, the words that you choose to say and uh, the tone in your voice and the enthusiasm. Make sure that your words are occasion appropriate, are professional. Stay away from double mean, meaning wordage, um, words that are considered slang. Make sure that they are, your words are seasoned with courtesy and consideration, and you speak clearly and slowly. And then last but not least, your appearance from head to toe, you send a message loud and clear, and it's in the little details. Make sure that your head hair and your facial hair is neatly groomed. Make, the, make sure that your fingernails and your toenails are nicely manicured. Make sure that your, your clothes fit with your, with your pants hemmed and your, and your sleeves the right length. And make sure that your clothes have all their buttons and are free from rips and tears and that your shoes are in good shape. All of these things communicate a message. So, facial expression, eye contact, body language, 
appearance, and then your wordage and your voice inflection. All of these are essential in making a good first impression. If you do these, I assure you within five seconds or less, you will make your first impression, your best impression. This has been Jill Marie with Etiquette Essentials. And as always, remember your first impression makes a lasting impression. So you better make it count. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye. Toledo Biz Connect TV thanks you for watching this episode of Etiquette Essentials with Jill Marie Zachman. For more great information, visit Jill Marie's website at www.jill-marie.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Toledo Biz Connect TV.